Hello everyone, welcome to Desktop DIY. Today we'll be making cat hats or kid crowns. Before we get started, I want to remind you to never put anything on a cat or a person if they're not into it. But with that, let's get started. You're going to need a few different things. Start with six square pieces of paper. You can use plain white paper or newspaper or junk mail, whatever you have around. Masking tape, scissors, and that's it. First, let me show you how to turn this piece of paper into a square. You'll need four to six pieces of this in total. To start, take that bottom corner and bring it all the way to the top edge. Give it a good crease. See that? Bottom corner, top edge. Then, just cut the extra off and you have a square. Now, we'll start folding the pieces of our crown. First, you'll fold your paper in half. Crease it really well. And then, take the top two corners and fold it to meet our middle line. See that? The top corner to the middle folded line. Same to the other side. Crease it really well. Great. Now, take that bottom flap, fold it all the way up. My fold is at the bottom of my triangle. Make a good crease. Then, fold the bottom part in half. Great. Bottom part in half. Then, all the way up. And you have a little mini triangle. We're going to hold on to that for later. Then you go ahead and do the same fold for all of your other pieces of paper. You can pause this at any time and replay any portion you might want. Don't forget to say hi to your pets. If you want to make a mini crown or a cat hat, four pieces will do just fine. If you want to make a bigger one, go ahead and fold the rest of your pieces of paper. I found four small pieces are perfect for cat heads. Now that all our pieces are folded, we can go ahead and put it together. It's your pieces in whatever order you want. Now we can start putting them together. Take your first piece and open up your folded flaps. Place your second piece right inside of it. Then fold it up and they should stay together. Let me show you again. Open the flap of your first piece, place the second piece inside, and then fold it up. Sometimes you gotta give the pieces a little bit of help, but no problem. Repeat this process for all of your pieces. Slide it right into the one before it. New piece into the flap of the one before it. Once you have all the pieces you want, we're gonna secure them with tape. Rip or cut two inches of masking tape and place it at the base of your triangle. You might wanna add a few more just to keep it super secure. Then fold up that bottom. Now we'll twist it into a circle shape. You gotta kind of move it around and loosen up the paper a little. And once you have it in the shape and size you want, you can add a piece of tape on the inside. I'm gonna add a few more so I have a bigger hat to match my cats. So there we go, added our other pieces, folded it up, whoops, that's okay, put it back, and then add the tape in the same places. Great, fold it up, turn it into the circle, make sure it's the right size, and then you can put that piece of tape right on the inside to secure it. Great. Now, you have a hat to match your little cat hat. Share your cat hat creations with us on any of our social media platforms or shoot me, Miss Erica, an email. Thanks for watching.